What's up guys, this is Jeremy with Arkansas CW. Today I'm here with Shutez Cott at the Native American Culture Symposium. How are you doing this afternoon, bro? Chilling, bro, I feel good. Feel good, good, good. You happy to be here, man? Very happy to be here, and no, it's an honor to be invited. Great, great, man. We love having you here, man. And I gotta say, you're a rapper, you're a writer, you're a man of many things, man. So can you touch on that? Yeah, of course. Um, I've been working for the last like 11 years of my mm -hmm. life really involved in the front lines of, of uh, treaty justice and indigenous rights, climate and environmental justice, um, and working within those movements through a lot of different spheres as a writer, as a hip-hop artist and a performer, as a public spokesperson. And yeah, I mean, my, my whole vibe and the whole message is all about inspiring, empowering, Definitely. connecting young people Definitely. to their voice and their passion to create positive change. Okay, great. So you're an Earth Guardian as well, man. Yeah. Can you tell me about that? Because that seems like a pretty dope movement you got going on. For huh? sure, for sure. Earth Guardians is a it's kind of like a global family, really, that, that we have uh, over 400 different crews in 35 countries. Uh -huh. And each different crew is working kind of on, on their, their small community issues. Um, it's all led by young people. It's all about like addressing these through creating solutions creatively. Um, if we look at you know, activist movements throughout right, history, right. like those same tactics aren't working today. Like we need, we need a, a different creative spin on how to Definitely. address these really it important up. issues. Definitely. Exactly. And giving the power and the voice back to young people is like, I think one of the best ways that I've seen that actually happen. Um, so Earth Guardians is all about like redistributing power and really offering a platform for lots of young kids around the world that want to be involved, that want to create change, that don't always know how. Definitely. So Earth Guardians is Definitely. about like really reconnecting them to something really positive. Definitely. So you're out here bringing everybody together. That's the overall message of everything, man. Yeah. And I see you're doing that with your music as well, man. So yeah, tell man. me, what inspired you, man? Because you're pretty dope. I got to say it, man. You're hey, pretty dope. Man, I appreciate that. Um, honestly, the first hip-hop record I ever owned was a Michael Franti record. Uh -huh. And Michael Franti doesn't make anything near hip-hop anymore, but he had one record called Stay Human okay. that I listened to when I was like eight or nine. And he was just spitting mad truth. He was talking about like political injustice and the incarceration system. Yeah, and yeah. and um, it like woke me up to, to see an artist really embody and represent that. And then I started listening to like KRS One and Talib Kweli, mm -hmm. um, and then you know more and more so uh, like Kendrick Lamar and J Cole, like definitely, these different definitely. artists who who are really successful in the world of hip hop that are telling a really meaningful story and representing their communities and being a beacon of like of hope for 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 oppressed minorities, really. Definitely, definitely. And um, so that's that's kind of the inspiration behind my art and just really using it as an authentic uh, method to tell my story. Definitely, definitely. If you're gonna speak on it, you gotta you gotta really represent the message, right? You gotta really get that 100%. out there, man. And I mean, I can see obviously being a young black male myself, mm -hmm. you're a young brown man yourself. Mm -hmm. You got to you got to put on for the culture. You got to exactly. actually get that representation out there, man. Hundred percent, bro. That's what it is. And like when you're when you're out there, like when I'm on tour and when I'm performing, and like the whole audience is turning up. Like there's an energy and there's a vibe. Like if you can get people to turn up, not just to like the beats and like what's yeah, hype, yeah. but like also talking about some real shit. Like people really relate to that and, and are invested in that. And it, and, it, and it leaves like a lasting impact further than just the concerts, right? Because then they go home with like, oh, like this kid was spitting truth. Like this kid was talking about this and this and this and so that's what that's what my goal is like make music people enjoy can definitely, dance to can like definitely. get down but at the same time like they're left with something a little more meaningful and gotta deeper. engage them on a deeper meaning yeah, yeah exactly so you got to tell me man your book right here man you're a writer give me the insight on this man bro um i wrote we rise in two months two months yeah. that's it yeah man oh, it man, was you... the the publisher hit us up and they're like yo you guys want to write this book? And I was like, yeah, let's do it. And they were like, you got two months. Because uh -huh. they, they really felt the urgency of putting it out. Um, after Trump was elected, I saw a lot of my friends that were never involved in activism, never would come to the, to the events or the protests, out on the streets yelling F Donald Trump, you know, yeah, not my president. Yeah. There was a lot of kind of like anger and, and kind of directionless, um, you know, opposition without really any, any tangible solutions or any proposition to how we were going to get involved right. in anything positive. So this book really is like, a call to action for a generation that has that fire lit within right, them. Right. And it helps connect, and, um, and there's a lot of conversations with really powerful community leaders in there. Um, there's a lot of case studies that zoom in on like food justice, uh, you know, racial equality, uh, being a white ally in indigenous movements, mm -hmm. um, fossil fuel extraction, economy, job creation. It looks at these like really important real world issues through the lens of like our climate crisis and how we can solve and create the change that we need. So it's definitely, all, like every chapter has a call to action. The whole book is a pretty much just a big call to action for a generation to give them the tools they need to create change. Definitely, so you're taking all of these real world issues one by one, but relating them all back together and exactly. sending that message out there. Exactly. There you go. Damn.